Hey everybody, this is Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. I'm coming by to do an update on an old video that I did a couple of years ago. I get asked all the time about um, polymer clay bangle bracelets and how can I make them where they don't break. The first thing I can tell you is baking time. Um, you're going to have to bake them from 45 minutes to an hour at least. And they'll be super flexible. And you can see I can flex that quite a bit. No breaking. The second thing is the quality of the clay you're using. If you're trying to do it with Sculpey 3, it's not going to work. They're, it's just too um, brittle. It will snap and break. If you use Primo they'll be they'll be just this flexible um, you can also try um, Fimo I have, don't have a lot of experience with Fimo I did get um, some of the Fimo professional and it is equally as flexible and stable as the Primo is and I have no experience at all with um, Cernit or um, uh, Kato clay I just can't I just can't find them uh, locally so all right there's lots of different styles this one right here I used a scrap bit from the uh, cabochon I just did in a video recently all right you can stamp into it I added a little blue acrylic paint that I wiped back on this one I did brown now I just used a beer can this happens to be um, my wrist size if you need a bigger size you can get a bigger can an Arizona iced tea can is much larger and um, nowadays some of the beer cans come in even larger sizes Just an idea of some of the things you can do. I really love this one. Alright. And then this one is one that just came out of the oven just a few minutes ago. Um, I did let it cool off in the oven. Um, and I will antique this piece. If you want your beer can to not leave ink stains on the inside of your bracelet you can cover it with foil that'll work perfectly or you can cover it with a sheet of um, mm -hmm, cardstock just plain cardstock that will release quite easily from the inside of your bracelet alright so I've got another rolled out bit of this faux ivory clay And I'm not worried about getting it uh, too smooth or getting rid of that line or I'm not worried about any of that. I'm going to take a texture stamp. And this one is from Cool Tools. And no, I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just really like their texture stamps. Then I'm going to roll it around the can. Now what you can do is you can either let them bypass each other on the end like that and put a little bit of Sculpey Bacon Bond in there and that will hold it together and be very flexible as well. Or You can take your blade and cut it at an angle and then fit the ends back together with a little bit of the Sculpey Bacon Bond in it. Alright, but 
I'm going to do like I suggested. Alright, I've squirted just a bit of the bacon bond right in there. Alright, and then I just put a little bit right on top I gave it kind of a snake's head look. Alright, and then I'm just going to bake this. I'm going to bake it at regular clay temperatures. But I'm going to bake it for an hour. Alright, it won't hurt the clay any as long as your temperature is set correctly. Um, I do use an oven thermometer to check my oven because um, polymer clay ovens, especially little toaster ovens, are notoriously um, are they're notoriously off. Mine is off over 20 degrees from the dial setting. So although my dial setting says 250, um, my temperature gets um, up there quite a bit to 275, 280. Alright, so I'm going to bake this and then I'll come back and share it with you. Alright. Bangles, 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 and more bangles. This is it just out of the oven. It, uh, it'll come out of the oven stuck to the can a little bit, but with just a little gentle pressure, it'll pop right off. Alright, and it'll be just this flexible. This is one I did um, six or seven years ago. Just mine and my husband's initials. And look how flexible it is. Alright. So, if you want to make bracelets that are really nice and flexible, the secret is to bake them long enough. Bake them uh, 45 minutes to an hour and use good quality clay. Don't try to do this with Sculpey 3 because it, it'll be too brittle and it will break. Um, but some Primo or some Fimo Professional, something like that. Alright, that's it. I shall holler at y'all later. Bye now.